Hey family, how's it going? Today is Thursday, May the 2nd, 2019. And I am currently 26 weeks and two days. But um, I wanted to give an update because I know I said about my appointments. I think the last videos I was saying about my appointments. So I have diabetes, and it's not just that show diabetes. I actually found out I had I was diabetic right before I became pregnant, and so um, which put me at high risk, and I was already high risk because of my age. I am 37. Um, but anyway, I know I explained that in other videos. So I go to a neonatologist. Neo I was going to him. Um, once every week or once every two weeks depending on how my um, glucose levels were and so um, this was the first time I had had to go to him but um, in three weeks so I was getting ultrasound every at least every other week so this is the longest I've been without getting one I think my appointment is next week um, and I also go to my OBGYN. So, basically, I was having a, multiple appointments almost every week. Well, for the first couple of weeks up until I came like um, 20 weeks, I was having appointments every week. Every single week, at least once or twice, because I had to go to the... Um, different places because I had diabetes my doctor was sending me out um to I had to get my eyes examined I had to get the baby's heart um examined by a specialist and um just an appointment every week so anyway the baby's doing fine the baby's kicking a lot now um I think the baby kicks a lot when I'm hungry or <laughs> when he wants to eat um, he kicks a lot though, and that's a good sign. I love it. And I start singing to him. Um, when I when I notice he's kicking, and sometimes I just talk to him. And that took a lot of getting used to, cause it's like, oh God, I don't want to feel crazy talking to myself. But it took it took a lot of getting used to. But I love it. I love my son. I love um having a bond with him, and everything like that. It's just the sweetest thing ever. And those little kicks are everything. So, um, my 25th week. Um, basically, I, I was fatigued, as I stated. I was still tired. And it seems like, I guess, the, the further along I get, the, tired I, the tireder I get. Also, um, also, I'm still having that dryness problem, TMI alert, dryness problem around my areolas. And it's not so much my nipples, but my nipples are dry also, but my areolas are cracked to where they're getting scabs. They're just really severely dry, and I don't understand that. That's weird to me. It's different. I looked it up and they said because of the um, hormone imbalance, could be because of the could be because of the hormone imbalance and my breast is stretching and making it dry because my breast starts stretching out so far. They said that could be one of the things they said um the um kind of soap powder that I use to wash my clothes could be the issue. Um which I was kind of thinking well maybe that is it. I have changed um washing powders so I may go back because I normally use um, the all with with nothing in it, and lately I've been using um, different fabric softeners or fabric softeners and different um, um, laundry detergents that have um, fragrances in it. And I'm very sensitive to skin, so I should have known better than that. But I hope I'm gonna change it just to see if that's the issue. Cause it's just really weird to me and it's just happening in that area well no that's not true i'm actually you know what i don't know if it has anything to do with eczema because i noticed a dry patch on my wrist <clears throat> the other day right here 
So I don't know if I'm, I have developed eczema. Um, you know, I don't know. But um, that's something I'm gonna talk to my doctor about when I go to like, the next OB appointment. See if they can recommend me a dermatologist or if, even if I could take, apply some um, creams or something to my skin. I mean, I use the coca, cocoa butter and coconut oil. I actually like, um, I actually like the um, natural products, but um, I, it does relieve it. But um, it's not a permanent solution, so it works. But of course, um, it's not fixing it, you know, because I'm still flaky, I'm still dry to the point where, like I said, it cr created some scabs along there, you know, and I see a lot of flakiness and stuff. That's very unusual for me. I never had that happen. Um, and my breast itch extremely bad. Like, they just, oh, right in that area, they just itch so, so, so bad. <clears throat> Somebody had mentioned maybe it could be milk leaking, but it's not coming out of my actual nipple. It's actually coming around the areola part. So, I'm thinking, mostly. So, I'm thinking that, um, and then I squeeze my breast a little bit just to see if anything come out. Nothing is coming out. No colostrum or anything. So, I don't think it's that. But that was a good suggestion because I was wondering. That was kind of cute. I was curious about that myself. When does the milk or the colostrum actually come in? And can I know a lot of women have seen it leaking, but I'm not. I, I'm not leaking at all. Um, so my breasts aren't sore, sore. Sometimes they get a little tender and sore around. Um, but the itching and the, the, the scratching. That makes it sensitive. That makes me, you know, I'm not supposed to do that, but it'd be, I'm talking about it'd be for real a serious thing, y'all. Um, another thing is I haven't really had cravings, but as I told you before, I eat a lot of breakfast food, so I have been eating a lot of um bacon um and eggs, and which is something I've been sticking to anyway. Not the bacon part, turkey bacon. I eat turkey bacon anyway. Not the bacon part, but the breakfast part the eggs grits and stuff like that i could eat shrimp and grits i ate a lot of that so yeah that's one thing um i actually bought me two dresses from walmart because i'm about to prepare start preparing my um hospital bag and i get a diaper bag prepared for my son so he have his own little bag as well so I have another update. I, I, I'm debating if I should talk about my current situation or not. I have been debating about it, but I think I do, and I would like to talk about it. Um, so I'm gonna, I probably have a whole other video about that. calls or anything like that and it really did catch me off guard I was not um, prepared for that but like I said I want to talk about it in another video that has been something I have been dealing with I am currently six and a half almost seven months pregnant and I have been going through this pregnancy by myself which was not intended so um and I have been extremely sick a lot of the pregnancy. So, it has been something that was very hard for me to deal with. Um, but, um, I'm dealing with it. And the, the longer it's coming on, it is becoming easier. 
I have a very supportive family. I have a very supportive friends. So that has helped me out a lot. Um, because like I said, this baby was planned, not just by myself, but my husband also. Um, and um, uh, a lot of people are looking forward to my baby and so am I you know so I try to keep my spirits high you know um because I know everything affects the baby and um anyway so that's part of the story I didn't tell it all but this is a big mess I probably won't get into detail detail I, that might just be it I might not do a video um but I a video of how I have been dealing with it and how I've been feeling because it is something, you know, you don't you don't plan to some some of us don't plan to be a single parent. And as a matter of fact, for a long time it was I knew it was hard for me to get pregnant. And um and I also knew that me and my husband had had problems in our past and that you know we have tried before and stop trying and then you know we have been together for like two years back together so like I said I was really for real like very shocked and very disappointed very disappointed but you know God don't put no more on you than you can bear and everybody has their purpose in your life um so with that said, you know, maybe that was his purpose that he served. I don't know. Um, so just to give me a gift such as that, which is like the most fabulous gift anybody can ever ask for. I'm very grateful. Very grateful to be a mom and very grateful to, um, to be carrying this miracle. It's a blessing. Sorry, I'm so um, unfocused, y'all. I'm driving and it's all kinds of detours and everything. I'm on my way to work. But anyway, y'all, I don't want to bore y'all to death. Those are just like some minor things that happen. I try to keep a list to remember exactly what I wanted to update on. And it's so hard because as I said, you know, I have a whole lot going on at times. Even though I got a break this time for my doctor's appointments and stuff. Um, but just trying to prepare for the baby. I'm doing my um baby shower, trying to get that together where my cousins and family are doing my baby shower. But I just have to get the invitations and stuff together. Everybody I'm going to invite, so that's exciting. Um, and speaking on the decision of me and my husband are no longer together. You know what? I just want to say this. People might not be agree with me. And this video is very long. I'm going to make it. It's not going to be too long. But I just want to address something. So, with that being said, I have been lonely and dealing with, like I said, um, this pregnancy by myself. As far as um, having a spouse or a mate to go through it with me. Or have a person to share all the milestones and things like that. Like, oh, you know, the baby's kicking and... You know, just have somebody rub my back, rub my stomach, and just be excited with me as far as a companion goes. Not, it's like my family is awesome, amazing. My mom, my cousins, and my friends, they are amazing support. Like, so much support. But everybody knows all of the love and support from even family members. We still desire and want a spouse. And that did not change because my husband left me. That did not change because I'm a pregnant woman. I still desire a relationship. So I have been battling and dealing with that. Like, I'm pregnant. You know, it's, it's not as easy as if I was not pregnant. And by the way, we're not married anymore. You know, well, whatever. Separated, I guess. Whatever. But I don't want to put it to this. I don't want him back. I don't want him back um so that's not my prayer to god that is not what i ask for i don't want anybody that can up and leave me people make mistakes all the time and they can't and have been forgiven for them 
but this it was the final straw i don't want a person who is unsupportive in my most time of need so much has happened to me in these seven months you would not believe but um in my most time of need i needed him the most this time and he left me and abandoned me i absolutely have no desire now or never to have him back so i don't want that i, I want a healthy relationship um i want a person you know i won't go into details with god about exactly what i want and what i need i want somebody who's going to be a father a stand-up guy you know it is very hard to find somebody and to date so anyway that being said um i was out here like can i date will a man date what kind of man would date a pregnant woman how would i even be out here dating like y'all i was i'm confused about the whole situation the whole situation but i am human so of course i want a companion who would want to take on responsibility like that? <sighs> I don't know. But anyway, y'all gonna talk to death. But I wanted to share a part of the real me. My, the real things that I'm going through because everything is not peaches and cream. Even though this is a beautiful experience and um, things that I'm going um, I, I feel like I'm blessed. And it was almost like the best thing in my life happening and oh, one of the most worst horrible things happening to me at the same time how do you balance that you know i try to focus so much on my baby and be happy but honestly let me tell you something it's easier said than done because those feelings come to like i was let down i was abandoned out not just myself but my child as well those feelings come into play and I'm not a perfect person by no means, but God knows I have been very, very good to my husband. <laughs> I'm gonna say very good to my husband, okay? So, no infidelities on my part. Just, just let me say that, okay? All right. But um, anyway, and I just been loving and supportive and not perfect, like I said, but I know that. I know my worth as a woman and as a wife and what I bring to the table. And um, nobody has to put up with certain things. And that is just non-tolerable. And to this day, he doesn't call. We don't communicate at all. To this day. So, he did show up at my gender reveal. But that's about it things went back to usual no communication no nothing um i don't know i'm I, I have prayed for him and i will probably continue to pray for him whatever he's dealing with in life and going through that god will you know ease and calm his spirit and give him peace and give him what he needs to be a father to our son um, and everything like that. And I hope he's happy with his journey and, and where he's at um, or whatever. You know, I wish nothing but the best for him. However, you know, I life goes on and I must move on too. So I'm not going to stay stuck in a rut. So anyway, y'all, I'm just going to just leave it at that and say, you know, what do you think? Is it okay for a woman who is pregnant? And I want your honest opinion. And you know, I mean... Some may like it, some may not. Unless you've been in my shoes. And I would like to know how you feel if you've been in my shoes or whatever. What, ha what happened? Because like, God don't put more on us than we can bear. And also, I know it's a lot of successful stories of same similar situations. Um, like myself, being pregnant, planning a pregnancy. And, and then the person walks out and decides they don't longer want to be a, a family or that it might be overwhelming for them or they just find themselves with someone else or however it works out but at the end of the day i've heard successful stories about women recovering bouncing back in the middle of them being pregnant a man comes nice shining armor and sweep them up i mean that's not like a fairy tale but it happens so how do you feel about that pregnant women 
dating. You know, and I know I need some healing time. But as I stated, this has been going on. I'm almost seven months pregnant. And like I said, I found out when I was well, I already said it, but when I was four before I was completely four weeks pregnant, I found out that I was pregnant. So before I became a, a full month pregnant, my husband had already left. So yeah. Um, that part. So um, yeah, anyway, so that's my story. And I'm going to leave it at that because I, this video is longer than 20 minutes. So anyway, God bless you. And as I say, always keep the faith. I'm praying for you still. I believe that God um, can do anything. And he won't put more on you can, than you can bear. So um, God bless you. Have a blessed day. And I'm glad for all my TT, TTC brothers and sisters that you have conceived. Do not yet have conceived. I'm still praying for you. Um and um keep the faith bye